we believe uh, Greece is on the right track, and we are on the right track to support uh, uh, the Greek government, the Greek authorities, the Greek, Greek political parties, and the Greek public opinion and the Greek population overcoming this very difficult situation. I think we, one needs to understand that we are dealing with the aftershocks of the financial crisis. It has affected the whole world, but it has affected some countries more than others, those who had more, a more vulnerable situation. This is the case of Greece. That's why Greece needs help. That's why we are ready to provide help. We are very happy to see a solidarity of the International Monetary Fund as well. And uh, we are sure with this kind of help, with the efforts that the Greeks have to uh, produce themselves, I think we will come to, uh, to a solution to this crisis. Of course, critics say that um that the EU approach to Greece has been too focused on cuts and not really enough on economic growth. What would you say to them? What we want, what Greece wants, what Greek population wants is a sustainable growth. Not one year growth or two years growth and then uh, five or, f or, or ten years of, of recession. No, we want to create the conditions for a sustainable growth pattern. Uh, in Europe and in Greece in particular. For that to happen, you need to first uh, uh, deal with the, the emergency uh, situation. And we had a public financing situation in Greece which was uh, unsustainable. Uh, we need also to look at the structural reforms, create the conditions for competitiveness for our economies, in, in this case the Greek economy. Only on that basis can one expect to have sustainable growth in, in the decades to come. Of course, uh, there will be elections in April, and that could be another sort of uh, crisis point that could put this uh, package into doubt or throw it into a greater turmoil. Do you expect that might happen, or how do you see uh, the elections in April affecting well, the bailout package? First of all, elections are a good thing. Uh, they are part of democracy, and democracy is the, uh, the system we have chosen to live in, and uh, we should have no problem with elections. I believe that's a, also a way for the population to express their views, for politicians to assume their responsibilities. In any case, uh, we, uh, the package that has just been approved is, is uh, subscribed and supported by the main political parties in, in Greece. So I see no reason why, regardless of the results of the elections, this package disagreement should be put in question. Ambassador Validel made that. Let's take a look at the larger picture, the larger debt crisis in Europe, and the implications of, of the Greek crisis in particular for the stability of the Eurozone, what specific lessons has the European Union learned from this particular crisis? I think we learned a lot. Uh, we learned a lot about uh, the means that we need to have to deal with the emergency situations. We didn't have them before. We created, we developed them. For, to deal with the cases like Greece and a few other countries. Secondly, we learned that our governance system was not yet at the, the right level of sophistication. And we are in fact changing a lot. If not, there is a small revolution going on inside the euro area in the way we deal uh, with what we call the economic governance. There's a lot being changed. And thirdly, uh, I think we, we learned uh, a very simple lesson. Uh, when you are part of a system, there has to be solidarity. There has to be the assumption of responsibilities by all the members of the, of the community. We are talking here about the, uh, the euro area, which has 17 countries. Uh, these countries need to converge not only in their monetary policy, because they have a single currency, but they also have to have convergent economic and fiscal policies. We did not have that before. We are creating the conditions for that to happen in the future. And this is a big lesson that we learn out of this crisis. Mr. Ambassador, uh, speaking of the Eurozone, uh, you know, there are still skeptics who, who don't think that Greece, you know, may be able to meet the terms of the accord over the long run, given public discontent and so many deep structural reforms that have to be made that are going to be, bear, going to be very painful. And so uh, there's still talk that uh, that Greece will not be able to overcome in the long run its debt problems, that it won't be sustainable. Uh, what are the prospects of Greece uh, perhaps leaving the Eurozone in the, in the near future? Well, I cannot predict the future. What I can tell you is that we are doing whatever we can at all levels to guarantee the stability of the Euro area, to guarantee that Greece has the conditions to remain 
in the euro area and that the euro as a single currency of the European Union has a bright future. And uh, if you want my opinion, I believe this will be the case. Greece will stay, the euro will remain a strong currency and the euro area with all the reforms that we are implementing out of this crisis will uh, come out of it stronger and fitter.